the Indianapolis ABCs had a record of 84 wins and 60 losses. Offensively, they were red, led by player manager Ben Taylor, 375 average, Oscar Charleston, 373, and Biz Mackey, 361. But the thing that stands out the most to me on the Indianapolis ABCs is their defense. They have ones at first base, Taylor, third base, Blackman, center field, Charleston, and right field, Crush Holloway, all rated one in Stratomatic. The ABCs are in Kansas City to take on the Kansas City Monarchs, Buck O'Neill, Turkey Stearns, and Willard Brown. With the Monarchs win today, they can eliminate the ABCs from the Diamond Gems Tournament. Join us as we play Game 2. This is Apple Baseball Classics, where yesterday's stars performed through cards and dice. Classic games on our tabletops. Hello everybody, this is Apple Brian and Apple Baseball Classics bringing to you Game 2 of the series between the Indianapolis ABCs and the Kansas City Monarchs. The Monarchs took Game 1 yesterday, 5-3. to three. This is Game 2, best of three series. And this is all within Round 1 of the Negro Leagues Diamond Gems Tournament. All right, one note before we begin play. The pitcher for the Kansas City Monarchs is really Frank Bradley. There was a Provine Bradley who played with the Memphis Red Sox in 1938. He was 30 years old. And there was a Frank Bradley who played with the Kansas City Monarchs. He was a young man at 20 years old. So I think they got that. Stratomatic got the name wrong. This should be Frank Bradley on the card. We'll call him Bradley. He's ready to go. Neiman Washington steps into the box for the ABCs. 110 is a fly ball to... The left fielder, Willard Brown, played shortstop yesterday. He's playing left field today. One away. Here's a shortstop, Spex Clark. 110 is a pop-up on the infield. Newt Allen calls for it, and he makes the grab. Two outs. Player manager, Ben Taylor, the first baseman. 5-5 five, five is a drive. It might be. It could be. It sails over the head of Henry Milton. It is out of here. One to nothing, Indianapolis ABCs in the first inning. That makes Ben Taylor two for six with two RBIs in the series. And Indianapolis, as they did yesterday, break, they break out on top. One to nothing. It was Oscar Charleston. Six, six. That's a split chance with a 12 on the 20-sided die, and it's going to be a two-base hit for the great Oscar Charleston. The ABCs have a man in scoring position with two outs. Four crush, Holloway. 2-7 is a ground ball to the shortstop. Mix Johnson has it, throws the first. That's the end of the inning, but Indianapolis breaks out on top. One to nothing with Kansas City coming to bat. All right, Lewis Hamilton is on the mound for the Indianapolis ABCs. No confusion over him. He was 16 and 8 with a 310 ERA. Henry Milton steps into the box for Kansas City. 412 is a base on balls. Kansas City starts with a runner on base. A stealing. 
the way I play basic Stratomatic, I just use the uh, straight steel rating and the catcher's arm. I don't bother with the hold or not hold. And um, Biz Mackey, the catcher for the Indianapolis ABC, is a minus two arm. So one to 13, if he decides to go or his chances, we will start the runner and hit and run. Actually, we just count the two red dice. That's a 12. Batter lines into second base. And the throw for the easy out at first, Connie Day complete, completes a double play with Ben Taylor on the line drive on the hit and run play. Four, four to three. Suddenly, just like that, there's two outs for the Monarchs in the first. And here is Willard Brown, yesterday's star of the game. Two for four with a homer and three RBIs. 1-4 is a long drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. Willard Brown goes deep for the second time in the series and ties the game 1-1. One one. And that's what happened yesterday. The ABCs broke out on top. Kansas City answered in the bottom of the inning. Yesterday they scored two runs in the bottom of the first. Here's Turkey Stearns. They're not done yet. Stearns, 284 with 17 home runs. Here's the pitch. 3-8 is a base hit for Turkey Stearns. Buck O'Neill steps into the box. Uh, let's see, Stearns is a B stealer, so 1-11 with the modification. There's two outs. Why not? Let's give it a shot. He steals second. Turkey Stearns is in scoring position. Here's the pitch to drop the. Uh, here's the pitch to Buck O'Neill, five four, off the pitcher's cards at ground ball third base X. That's Blackman. He's a one, and twelve one. He completes the play five to three. That's the end of the first inning. Kansas City scores once. We're tied one to one. Biz Mackey will lead off for the Indianapolis ABCs. This game is being played at Mulebach Field, 22nd Brooklyn, Kansas City. It's about two, two and a half miles away from where I'm rolling the dice. And um, it's just not very far. It's going to be a warm day here today in Kansas City. It's supposed to hit 100. And another one more warm one tomorrow as Chiefs training camp opens. We're going to go up there Friday with some of my family and watch the training camp. Here is Biz Mackey stepping in. For the ABCs, 3-8. Lead off single for the catcher. Frank Duncan's rated minus two arm. Uh, let's see, Blackman hits 254. Hit and run didn't work out too well for the Monarchs. If they just play it straight up. Is 2-5 uh, is a ground ball to the shortstop. Max Johnson throws to... New Allen at second, over to Buck O'Neill at first. It's a 6-4-3 double play. Two outs for the ABCs in the top of the second. Here is Connie Day, the eighth place hitter, second baseman. 6-7, fly ball to left field. Willard Brown is under it and makes the grab. Three outs, we go to the bottom of the second, 1-1 one, one tie. Lewis Hampton made his big league debut with the Columbus Buckeyes in 1921 and finished his short career with the Detroit Stars 1925 through 27. Frank Duncan steps in the box for Kansas City. 4-9 is a fly ball to right field. Crush Holloway, he's a one out there in right field. He makes the catch. One down. Max Johnson's playing shortstop today. He didn't play in yesterday's game. 4-7. Split chance. It's going to be a base hit for Max Johnson. A line drive up the middle. Johnson is a C stealer. One out, one on. Here's the eighth place hitter, Benny Cox, who also didn't play in yesterday's game. 2-12 is a base on balls. Hampton puts Cox on first. Johnson moves to second, and now the pitcher 
Bradley comes to bat. Frank Bradley. Here's the pitch to Frank Bradley. 5-8. Fly ball to left field, D. That's going to be caught by Naaman Washington. The runners will hold two down and to the top of the order we go. Name and Henry Milton. Not the biggest guy on the mark, but he is a fast man. Here's a pitch to Milton. 1-5 is a base hit for Henry Milton. Uh, no asterisks after the single, so Johnson may try to score. That base hit goes to center field. Oscar Charleston's arm is a minus two. Max Johnson's a 15. He had two because two outs. So it ends up at 15. Uh, throw goes to third to prevent the runners from moving up. And Kansas City gets a run. It's two to one, Kansas City. Here is New Allen. Five, six. Fly ball to center field. Oscar Charleston. Picks it out of the sky, three outs. Kansas City scores one, and it's the Monarchs two and the ABCs three. Let's go to the third inning. Lewis Hampton is due to bat first for the ABCs. He uses batter card number eight, good hitting pitcher. Here's the pitch from Frank Bradley. Two, six is a base hit for Hampton. Pitcher's on first. Top of the order, Naaman Washington. Five three is a ground ball shortstop X. Shortstop is Mex Johnson. He is a four. That's a fielder's choice. And now Naaman Washington is the base runner at first. B stealing. Spex Clark. One through thirteen is his chance to be safe with the modification. Four nine is a split chance and it's a big split wide splits for a single, and it is a base hit. Single asterisk. So Washington goes to second. One down, and the ABCs have first and second. And Ben Taylor, their best hitter coming to the plate. Taylor has already made his presence felt in this game. Homered in the first. Followed by Oscar Charleston, so you don't want to walk Taylor. Here's the pitch from Frank Bradley. 2-3 is a ground ball first base B. O'Neill throws to Johnson. They get the out at second, back to first, not in time. So 3-6, to six, another fielder's choice. And we got first and third with Ben Taylor at first. And Naaman Washington at third. Two outs. If Bradley wants to walk... Oscar Charleston, he'll be putting the go-ahead run at second base in scoring position, but he gains 90 points on batting average between him and Crush Holloway. Holloway is 0 for 1 already. Charleston doubled his first time up. He'll walk Oscar Charleston and load the bases. All right, Frank Bradley is surrounded by the ABCs. Crush Holloway comes to the plate. Can he put a quarter in the merry-go-round? Here's the pitch. 6-10. Ground ball to second base. Newt Allen scoops, throws the first. That's it. The end of the inning, and the ABCs waste a golden opportunity. Leave the bases loaded. It's still Monarchs 2 and the ABCs 1. Don't look now, ABC fans, but Willard Brown is digging into the right side of the batter's box, ready to face Lewis Hampton in the bottom of the third. He has two home runs. He is 3-4. Five with four RBIs in this series. Here's the pitch to Willer Brown. Five nine is a ground ball X to shortstop. That's Specs Clark. He's a three. Twelve three is going to be an out. One down. Turkey Stearns, a center fielder. One eight is a base on balls. Stearns has been on base twice, singled and walked. He's got speed at first base, B stealing. Buck O'Neill comes to the plate. All right, 
There goes Turkey Stearns. He's going to try to steal second. He is safe. Stolen base. Second stolen base in this game. Pitch to Buck O'Neill. 6-5 is a ground ball to second base C. Connie Day scoops it and throws out Buck O'Neill. 4-3. Turkey Stearns goes to third on the play. Two outs. And here's the catcher, Frank Duncan. 2-10 is a split chance, 1-5, triple, single otherwise. It's 11, so it's a base hit, double asterisk. So Stern scores, and Frank Duncan comes through for the Monarchs. Increases the Kansas City lead to 3-1. to one. Brings up Max Johnson. 4-9 is a fly ball to right field. Crush Holloway puts it away. That ends the inning, but the Monarchs now have scored one in each inning. It's 3-1 Kansas City. Biz Mackey, Henry Blackman, and Connie Day are scheduled to bat in the top of the fourth inning. Now down by two are the ABCs. 1-7. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's the game's first strikeout. Mackey's one for two. Henry Blackman. Another one of these ones on defense. 254 hitter offensively, 27. Line drive to the shortstop, Max Johnson makes the catch, and he played perfectly. Here is Connie Day. Eight place hitter in the batting order. 6 5. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two strikeouts in an inning for Frank Bradley. We go to the bottom of the four, 3 to 1, Kansas City. It's been a balanced attack for the Monarchs in this series. Every position player, including the pitcher, hit safely yesterday. And not today. They have scored one run in each inning. Benny Cox leads off for the Monarchs. 112 is a pop-up to second base. Carney Day makes the catch. Pop-up plus injury, so let's check. Benny Cox. Uh, seven on the injury chart. Better's injured for one game only. That brings back the bat the pitcher, Frank Bradley. 4 7. Base hit for the pitcher, Bradley, to left field. Here's Henry Milton, singled and drove in a run. You know, it's also a walk. 6 6. Line drive to third base, caught by Henry Blackman. Two outs. Second baseman, Newt Allen. He is 0 for 2. 5-8 is a fly ball to left field. That will wrap it up for the Monarchs in the fourth as Naaman Washington makes that catch and puts it away. Three outs. We go to the top of the fifth. 3-1, to one, Kansas City. Boise Marshall comes in to play second base for the Monarchs. Uh, yesterday's game he played, and... Marshall was two for five with two singles and a run scored. Lewis Hampton leads off for the ABCs. 1-9 is a ground ball to Max Johnson. It's short. Throw to first. One away. Here's Naaman Washington. 2-6. There's a drive. The deep left field going back is Willard Brown. He makes the catch. One to seven home run. It was a 13. Two outs. Here's Specs Clark. One for two. Three eight is a pop up. Newt Allen is under calls for it and makes the catch. Three outs. To the bottom of the fifth inning. Three to one, Kansas City. Will Brown steps into the box for the Monarchs. Lewis Hampton is going to try to avoid column one if he can. He's got two home runs already in the series. Here's the pitch to Will Brown. 1-10. That's going to be a drive into the left center field gap. It gets between Washington and uh, Oscar Charlson, and it's going to go for two bases, a double for Will Brown. 
And Willard Brown now is four for seven on the series. He is swinging a red hot bat. Turkey Stearns comes to the plate. No outs. We're in scoring position. Pitch from Hampton. 4-3 is a ground ball back to the pitcher. X fielding three. Hampton snags it and throws the first. Good play. Brown holds it second. One down. Buck O'Neill did a blog one time from the cemetery in Kansas City. I think it's Forest Lawn was the name over near Troost. And uh, Buck O'Neill is buried in the same cemetery as Satchel Page. Here's the pitch to O'Neill. 2-10. Line drive to Henry Blackman at third. Two outs. Catcher Frank Duncan. He is one for two. They say here we'll add a run. Probably. 5-9 is a ground ball shortstop X. Specs Clark's a three. 12-3 is an out. He makes the play. And that wraps up the Monarchs in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth, 3-1 Kansas City. Ben Taylor leads off the top of the sixth for the ABCs. He's gone deep. And that's accounted for the only run the uh, ABCs have. Six hits on the game. And just one run. Here's a pitch to Ben Taylor. 2-10. Ground ball second base. Fielded by Newt Allen to throw to Buck O'Neill. One down. Here's Oscar Charlton. Charlton carried a 373 average in 1922. 3 7. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down. Crush Holloway. 6 7 is a fly ball to left field. That'll wrap it up. Willard Brown makes the catch. The ABCs go without a whimper in the sixth. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth. 3 to 1. Monarchs. Max Johnson will lead off the bottom of the sixth inning for the Kansas City Monarchs. He was called Max Johnson because of a sombrero he used to wear as a child. His name is Byron Emerson Johnson. He grew up in Little Rock, Arkansas. Played one year with the Kansas City Monarchs, and then he played in 1939-1940 on the Satchel Page All-Star Team, which was an affiliate of the Monarchs. Here's a pitch to Max Johnson. 1-8 is a base on balls. Johnson takes first. Free pass. C running speed. Boise Marshall will hit for the first time in today's game. Five eight is a fly ball to left field B. Runner will hold. And Naaman Washington makes that catch that brings up Frank Bradley, the pitcher. Number two hitting card. Two eight. <clears throat> Swing and a miss. Strike three. First strikeout for Lewis Hampton. Two down and top of the order for Henry Milton. One eleven is a base hit for Henry Milton. Uh, Max Johnson will go to third, and there won't be a throw at third. Throw goes to second. First and third. Kansas City with two outs. They've got a threat going. Newt Allen, the batter. Kansas City second baseman. Went to Lincoln High School in Kansas City, as well as Frank White. Two great, great second basemen that played many years in Kansas City. 1-5 is a base hit for Newt Allen um, that will send Milton to third. Johnson gets the score. It's 4-1. to one. RBI for Newt Allen. It's been death by pinpricks here in the sixth inning, a walk and two singles. Now the big basher comes to the plate. Willard Brown, homer and a double in this game. Here's the pitch to Willard Brown. 1-9, ground ball shortstop. They're going to get him out this time. Specs Clark throws across. Three down. Kansas City adds one to their lead. They lead 4-1. to one. In the seventh inning, uh, we'll count the, this as a point of fatigue for Frank Bradley. If three bad things happen to him, he becomes tired. 
Ms. Mackey leads off for the ABCs. Indianapolis is down by three. Three, nine is the roll. That's going to be a swing and a miss. Strike three. Ms. Mackey is turned around for the second time. He has struck out twice in single. Henry Blackman, third baseman. Two five ground ball to Mex Johnson. Byron Johnson throws across. Two outs. Carney Day. Two nine. That's a fly ball to center field. Turkey Stearns will make the catch. The ABCs are going down without much protest. Frank Bradley has retired. 11 ABCs in a row. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Four to one, Kansas City. The well respected Herbert Rapp Dixon starred at several positions between 1922 and 1937. Primarily a hard hitting outfielder, Dixon played for teams in Harrisburg, Chicago, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, among other stops. Dixon is ranked among the best defensive outfielders in the Negro Leagues. There's a strong aroma of popcorn in the ballpark today. My wife just popped it. it smells great. Turkey Stearns leads off for the Monarchs. 5-7. Ground ball, to, uh, second base, X. Little test, Connie Day. He's a 2 on defense. 7-2 is an out. He makes the play. 1 away. Buck O'Neill, the first baseman for the Kansas City Monarchs. One of the most sweetest journalist men you'd ever meet. Of course, he has made faith famous on Ken Burns' documentary, but uh, well loved around Kansas City. One ten is a double, two base hit for Buck O'Neill. He was a Negro League batting champion uh, one year, but mostly is known for his managing days. Here is Frank Duncan, four eleven, first base X. Ben Taylor is a one, nine is the roll, and that's going to be an error. Ben Taylor muffs it. O'Neill goes to third, and Frank Duncan reaches on the air by Ben Taylor, the first baseman. First and third, Kansas City. Only one down. The ABCs will play a double play depth. There's the pitch to Max Johnson. 5-10. Fly ball center field X, that's Oscar Charleston, 16 on the split die. And that is a wild pitch. No, excuse me. That's a fly out. And the runner's hold not deep enough. Two outs. Here's the second baseman who came into the game late. Boise Marshall, 3-7 is a swing and a miss strike three. That moves us through the eighth, Kansas City four, and the Indy one. All right, manager Ben Taylor's happy that his pitcher, Lewis Hampton, could pitch out of that jam in the bottom of the seventh inning. He is a first schedule hitter in the eighth. Pitch hitter now is two sides Wesley batting for the pitcher. Here's the pitch from Frank Bradley. 5-7 is a ground ball X. Second base, Newt Allen is a two. 11 2 is an out. He makes the play. Top of the order, and Naaman Washington steps in. 2 10. Base hit for Naaman Washington, the left field over the third baseman's head. ABC's need base runners in the worst way. Specs Clark. Steps into the box. 3-4. Ground ball to pitcher B. He got it. Bradley turns and throws to second. Gets Washington out at second. Two outs. Inspects Clark as the runner first on the fielder's choice. Here is Ben Taylor. Player manager for the ABCs. 1-8 is a base hit for Ben Taylor. Clark will probably hold his second. His run's not important. 
He does hold it second. First and second, two outs. Oscar Charleston. That's two marks on the fatigue of Bradley. All right, six nine. Swing and a miss, strike three. The ABCs don't score. They fold up in the eighth, leave two runners on, and the Monarchs will come to bat, still holding their 4-1 to lead. New pitcher for the Indianapolis ABCs is Omer Newsom, 4.91 earned run average. And a manager for the Monarchs, Andy Cooper, selects Chili Mayweather to go up and pitch hit for the his pitcher. And then he grabs a glove, and he's going to go warm up in the bullpen himself. Pitch to Charlie Mayweather. 1-6 is a swing and a miss, strike three. 1 away, and to the top of the order is Henry Milton. 1-3 is a line drive to Boise Marshall at second base. Two outs. Here's Newt Allen. Four ten, fly ball center field. Uh, Oscar Charleston's a one out there. Twelve one, he makes the play. Three up and three down for the Monarchs. We go to the ninth. Four to one, Kansas City. All right, player manager for the Monarchs, Andy Cooper, will come on to pitch and try to close this game out. He could deep six the Indianapolis ABCs if he can keep three runs off the board. Tall test for Crush Holloway. Biz Mackey and Henry Blackman. Here's the pitch to Crush Holloway. 6-7. Popped up on the infield. Newt Allen calls for it and makes the grab. One away. Here's Hall of Fame catcher Biz Mackey. 361 hitter. 6-6. Six, six. That's a line drive to the third baseman. Two outs. Boise Marshall with a catch. Henry Blackman, last chance for the ABC. Cooper goes into the windup. Here's his offering. 2-8 is a pop-up on the infield. Newt Allen waves his arms, calls for it, and he's got it. That's the ball game. Final score, Kansas City 4 and Indianapolis 1. We'll be back with a wrap. The Kansas City Monarchs master their ABCs, and they move on to round 2. Our next series will be the 1936 Pittsburgh Crawfords and the 44 Birmingham Black Barons. The Indianapolis ABC scored one run on seven hits and committed one error. Kansas City scored four runs on ten hits and no errors. Frank Bradley was a winning pitcher, eight innings pitch, one earned run, and Andy Cooper gets the save, one inning, no runs. Lewis Hampton is the losing pitcher, seven innings pitch, he gave up four runs. It's been a balanced attack for the Kansas City Monarchs. Every position player in both games have reached base, and everyone has actually hit safely except for Cox, who was injured in this game, and he did reach base with a base on ball. Once again, the star of the game is Willard Brown, who started as a shortstop yesterday. They played left field. Homer doubled and uh, drove in a run and scored a run. So he finishes this series, four for eight, with two homers, a double, stolen base, and four RBIs. Laura Brown is the star of the game, star of the series. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscription button, doesn't cost anything. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and God bless.